In the last episode of Pixar's Adventure Park, we expanded the entrance to build the amazing Monstropolis from Monsters Inc. We also added a Pixar ball and some cool merchandise inside of the shops. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of Pixar's Adventure Park. I'm really excited for this episode because we actually get to start building the ride as you probably saw in the thumbnail. So I'll quickly tell you what the plan is. Over here, we're going to build the Monsters Incorporated building. Inside of this, we're going to have a queue and we're going to have the ride, which is going to be all indoors. It's going to be sick. The first thing we will do is we will extend this road. Now that we've got the path extended, I want to try and just get the outline of how big I want the building to be. Now this building is going to be absolutely massive because it's going to contain the ride, of course, but it's also going to be the main centerpiece of the park. Now that is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, but we, we should be fine with that. Now that we got the basic shape of the building done, we're going to get the ride down. And I think for this, I want to do a launch spinning cup stuff. The station we will just put around here, and then we can start the actual ride. First, we'll have it come around a corner. And then I want it to have a boost. And after the boost, I'm going to have it kind of come up here towards the right. And it's going to spin the other way. Let's see how that feels. That's actually not too bad, but I'm going to just go ahead and finish the coaster real quick. And I'll come back and show you guys. All right, so I just finished building the coaster. Let's check it out and see how it looks. Now, one thing you need to remember is I am not good at building roller coasters like at all. So just take this with a grain of salt. So far though, this is actually looking pretty good. It's not too bad. The little slow going up there, but that should be fine. It's been fun. Honestly, that is pretty good. I expected a lot worse, but I think that will do. There's also a reason I've built this area apart from the actual ride is because this is going to be a certain room. Then this is going to be a certain room and then this is going to be a certain room. I'm not going to say what I'm going to build in those rooms because that's going to be for the next episode. But pretty much once I get this done, I'm just going to build the entrance and the queue for the ride. And then hopefully we should be good. Now that we've got the ride built or for the most part built, we might change it up a little later. We can build the entrance and the queue of the ride. The first thing we got to do is make the doors. I am basing this off the Tokyo Disney ride entrance. So I'm pretty much just going to kind of replicate that, maybe change a couple of things. And for this, we'll want to get like a kind of bronzy sort of color. We'll make these pillars that use this concrete color. Now we can copy this one over here. Then another over here. Add some concrete above here. There we go. That's the front kind of done or the entryway kind of done. And this here has like a brick texture. We'll just copy this all the way up. Now we'll grab all of this. Copy it to the other side. Now we'll do the same over here with the bricks. That is looking pretty nice so far. So the next thing I had to build was the dumb on top that was built out of triangles. And let me just say, this is probably the most difficult thing I have tried to build inside of the game. After a while, I kind of gave up trying to use triangles and I just used squares instead because it just made it 10 times easier and it looked just as good. So I got this top thing made. I decided to use squares because honestly, it was just easier. But before we can put that into place, we just got to add a simple little cylinder on top here. And because normal cylinders aren't big enough, we're going to have to use these quarter cylinders. We'll bring this up to here and we'll just make it really big. Now we'll grab this and we'll also make this bigger. We want it to kind of match to like the uh, roundness of it. So around about there, I think should be good. We will paint the cylinder, this concrete. Then what we'll do is copy this cylinder, move it up and put it here. Grab this and copy this all the way up. To the cylinder we'll then paint this the same concrete copy this over to the other side as well now that we have gotten this done we can get onto the fun part we'll copy this up to round i think that height's good actually move this over to the other side as well so we'll move this in closer move it over to the other side just like that now on the top here i'm going to add just a little ramp 
Then we can copy this over to the other side, spin it around, just like that, perfect. Now we just gotta copy this a bit back, move it in, make this one a darker concrete, like that. Then at the top here, we need to grab one of these, one about there should be good, paint that. We also want to grab a wedge and we put that on top just like the others. Have it start to go up and then we'll spin it around. Now we will grab all of that, copy it, place it on the other side as well. So this is starting to actually take shape and look really nice. On the back wall here, we just need to make another base. We will now make this color something like, let's do orange. We'll change the color of this middle part. Something like that looks nice. And that is pretty much the shape we want done. Now we can just grab these, move these back a bit. Yes, this is starting to look nice. Now over here, they have like some sort of windows. So we'll quickly make those. We'll make that like a dark blue metal. And we'll just copy these up. Fix the height of these ones. There we go. That is looking awesome. Now what we need to do is make the Monsters Incorporated logo, put it up around here. I now have the image made, so we'll put this in. There we go. That looks awesome. Now before I can do any cleanup, I want to get the inside of this done. Now we just got to make like a little dome shape for the inside. Now that we got this dome, this massive dome made. We want to try and get this in place as best as we can. Now, what I'm building is this room here. As you can see, it's got a massive dome on the roof, which I can't really make it that big, but it's fine. Actually, I'm going to put it all the way back here. That way we can get a bigger dome, just like that. Now we got to make the floor for inside of the building. For that, it just looks like a basic, like, yellowish metal, I guess you'll call it. Now, inside of this room, it looks like they've got these, like, pillars that are going up and around. So, we'll quickly make those. And these are, like, a darker color of this gray. Nice. And we'll copy this, and we will just put one there, put one there. We'll then get a cylinder put up here. Then we'll make this like a dark blue and make it concrete. And then over, let's say just here, we'll make all this blue. We'll grab this and we'll put it over here as well. So there is one issue with this is that it, um, it's got glass on it, which I haven't really made. So what I'm going to do is just kind of make a dark metal color, I think. I don't think we really need these pillars here. So I'll get rid of those. And then now we just gotta fix this up. All right, there we go. That's that's pretty much that. The one thing I have left to do on this though, which is gonna be a pain to do, is make a map of the earth. So let's just quickly see what we can get done. I'm gonna be real, this is probably gonna take a while, so I'm just gonna come back when I'm finished. So off camera, I quickly finished up the inside here. It's very simple. Um, the map is, uh, I mean, it's very like low quality, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. And I do not want to spend like two hours just building a little map that, you know, I mean, it's barely seen. So next, what we got to do is I just got to make some little like, make, make these look more like windows, I guess you'll call it. The way we are going to go about that is I'm just going to shrink this. I'm just going to go up like that. I'm going to grab this. And I can just copy that over now. Put one there and one there. There we go. That is now looking nice. Actually, I just want to change these colors though. I want to make them like a dark purple. Make them darker than that. I think that would just look nicer. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that makes it look so much better. It makes it actually look kind of like night or like an actual window, which is awesome. And now that we have gotten that pretty much all finished, I don't think there's anything else I want to add to that is we can start building the queue and the actual station for the ride. First of all, I just need to copy this, make it bigger, just like that, it's perfect. And now time to do the queue. Now we'll make a pole, and then what we can do is just copy these around. 
Now this may look messy for now, but you just got to trust the process because honestly, this is going to make it so much easier than what could be. Now that we've got that, all we have to do is get this, rotate it. Then we rotate it around and we can make a very smooth fence like that. Now all we have to do is copy this over and do this on all the other lines. Then we can just copy all of these. And then hopefully we should just be able to spin these around and make the queue. That is actually just so satisfying. So now we just got to fix this up. And the way we can do that is just we'll remove all of these. Then we just got to fix this up. So they'll come in here. They'll go all the way around. They'll get to here. They'll go here. And then they'll have to go all the way around again. So we just got to fix this. Yeah! Figured it out. <laughs> this is hurting my brain a bit, but that is fine. So the queue will start here. You will come to here. Go through here. Go all the way around. All the way to here. And you go through here. Down to here. And you'll come around to here go out to here come all the way down to here then all the way to here where the queue will finish yeah! man that is a complicated queue that's fine now that we got the queue done we can start to work on the actual station room first of all i'm just going to cover this here put one on the other side so you can't see it which i think is good and then this can be the offload station this can be where you get on and what we'll need to do is we'll just make this that same blue. So we'll make a staircase that comes up here. Just uh, like that. Have that come up to the right. And I am stuck. The station's not going to be the best, I'll be real. But uh, that's all right. So you'll get on here. Then you'll get off over on the other side here. And this is where you'll go all the way around to exit. Like that. Very nice. Now we just got to get this fence in line. What I might do is just push this back as well to around about there just to make it feel a bit more spacious, especially since we can fit it because the ride doesn't get too close. We'll copy this floor to the other side and we'll extend it. Oh, I keep getting stuck. There we go. And then just on this side, we'll have like the people working, you know. We can now grab the gate, copy this gate across. That is looking good so far. We'll copy this over to there last thing really i gotta do here is just add a roof what i'm going to do now is pretty much make the control deck over here so what we'll do is we'll just grab this lower it down to around here then we'll put some windows in here and then inside of here we'll just quickly put down a sequencer and then also some buttons and then finally just put me in there there we go then we'll fill this in with glass and there we have a little like control station just like that something i'm also going to do is just add some pillars into here because it feels quite plain maybe about that big also just going to add these trims to the walls just to make it look a bit nicer that just makes it look a whole lot nicer as a station overall i don't know just add something to it now the last thing we really got to do inside the station room here is just fix up the light and for that, I'm just going to use these pretty basic uh, ceiling lights. Then grab all these lights and we'll just copy them into here like that. Now that we got that room done, we can work on the lighting inside of this room. And as you can tell, it is not very good at all. So I made the simple little light. We're going to move it up to here. Now what we can do is just rotate this around. And what we can also do is just place these lights here. There we go. That just makes it a lot better and well lit. And then over here, we're just gonna grab these same ceiling lights from before, the place them just like that. Then we'll up the range on these a bit. So pretty much what I just done is I have made the entrance side on the right here, and then the exit side on the left. And then, so when they get off the ride, they'll come down here, they'll go all the way around and they'll come and exit. Now I'm just gonna put some pillars into this room because it's quite plain like that that just helps a lot more i'm gonna keep this room quite plain and simple as you know i've spent so much time on this down this is like the main feature so here is just gonna stay like this but then in the middle here i want to just add a little like monsters inc statue thing well this will come outside and we'll grab the monsters inc image panel there we go that's like pretty much perfect then bring one of these lights down and i think that is pretty much the cube done i mean 
I might add some stuff in later, like some images and stuff, but if I do that, I'll probably be off screen or in the future episode. With the rod, I'll be finishing this in the next upload of this series, and I'm gonna be focusing mainly on just getting the interior built, and then I'll probably have one more episode of this area until I move on to the next one. Before we finish this episode though, I do need to fix up the entrance building here. So like, I just need to cover up all this stuff that you can kind of see through. Now that we've got that done, the next thing I want to do is just work on making this like thicker. And we can grab this and we'll copy it over one more time. We'll spin this around and we'll move it to the other side. Then all we really need to do now is just copy this all back over to the side. Copy this one there, there, and then one there. There we go. So I think I've pretty much done everything I want to do for this episode. In the next episode, I'll be finishing the ride and that includes making all the scenes from the different rooms. Let me just say, this is gonna be really like cool. So you, you wanna subscribe and stick around for that. Another thing I wanna mention, if you guys want to watch these episodes weeks early before they come out to the public, you can join the membership down below. Other than that, I think I'm done for this episode. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.